welcome to Glow's Eatery. And I have some wonderful guests today who are enjoying a culinary moment with their grandma. And this is my grandson, Ethan. And he has, and I can say this honestly, he has really mastered the art of making homemade ravioli. And, and I am really thrilled. I mean, we've gone over this a few times and Ethan is going to explain to you how to do it. And just before we start, Ethan, yeah. I'm just going to, he has made, he has made these terrific raviolis, okay, at our rehearsal. And what I'm going to do while you explain the beginnings, I'm going to put a few in to boil up. Okay. So we can eat them at the end of the show. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay. So you go ahead. Explain to them what they need to know. Okay. So um, to make the dough, we have to have eggs, water, oil, salt, and flour, and mix them up. And when you have the dough, you have to spread it out 12 inches, just like this, at 12 inches. Then spread it as long as about five inches. So I'm going to do that now. The dough uh, is very what they call pliable, right? Yeah. It really can stretch out nicely. It's an easy dough to work with. Yep. And uh, I've got one here too to make the process easier for Ethan. So I'll have an extra dough ready. Okay, that's about 12 inches. Now I just have to Can I borrow the ruler? Okay, here you Thank go. Thank you. I think it's about five inches now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay, I think I we're done. My, okay, so now. Now we put the dough on here and then make it spreading out all like making them go over here instead of just on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so it's like overlap. Yeah. Okay, and this seems to overlap very nicely. Mm -hmm. All right, now how do we make the indentations? We need ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, mozzarella, egg, and salt and pepper. Okay, so. So now I'm going to put this in. Okay, so those are the two, the Parmesan and the mozzarella. Yeah. The ricotta is the uh, the loose one. We'll get some of this. Okay. Okay, we'll get I'll the rest of that. In. Yep. All this. Get all the sides out so it'll be easier. <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah. Now I'll just add a, a couple pinches. <laughs> good. That. Yeah, I find that it's better not to over-season yeah. the fill. I'll just go like this. And? And yeah. an egg. Perfect. Now we just keep on mixing it and mixing it until you get it. <laughs> sure, sure. And I actually made it a little easier, Ethan, because I brought the ricotta mix that we did at the house. Uh -huh. So if you want, you can set that aside and you can bring over the ricotta mix that we made. It's up to you. Uh, I think we could do this one, actually. It looks good. I'll just wait another minute. How much uh, should we use? Uh, like, if I were to... Uh... Just a spoonful, I guess. Okay. It's, it's good enough. Okay. So you can use this spoon. Okay. And I've got a spoon here that I'll use. Well, I, I, I actually will use the mix over here so I don't get in your way. All right, I think good. this is about good, yeah. Good. I'll leave this to the side. Mm -hmm. Grab this. Now, we have to indent, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that first. Go ahead. Before we do it, you have to oh, indent. Yeah. <laughs> or else we're going to have a problem. <laughs> good. Make it. That's, That's good. it. Now a spoonful. Let's try to get it. So you said about a spoonful, like a keeping spoonful like that. You think good. that's okay? Mine is a little, little bit much. But it's good. More, you think so? More, more 
more the merrier. But it might leak over, so I think maybe on I'll, that one. I'll take a little bit off. Yeah, take a little bit, because it, it'll just leak out. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. There. Let's take it. That's good. Mm hmm. Boy. So this is one of your favorite uh, things to eat. Yeah, for dinner. I usually eat this for dinner, actually. And I know something else that's a favorite of yours. What? Meatball. Yeah. <laughs> you can do the last one. Oh, okay, thank you. And this. Now, the next step. My grandma made the other dough. <laughs> so, she'll put that on top. And then, I'll take this, the rolling. I'll roll out smoothly at first. Nice and slow. Yeah. And what are we aiming to do? Are we aiming to see the... Like, see the zigzag lines or whatever zigzag. lines. Right, right, right. Good. I think a little bit more pressure. So a little bit harder now, because I see the lines. Can you hold that? Right, so right, right. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Now I'm seeing it. Seeing it good, seeing mm -hmm. the dark lines. And over here, right in the corner. Okay. Now, before sure. we take it out of the frame, I think we ought to put some more flour on the board, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Flip it over. Flip it. And then <laughs> take this off softly, so it doesn't like doesn't break off. Gee, I tell you, they're coming out nicely. Yeah, coming out nicely. Wow! Come Look at good. that. Look at that. That yeah, is, wow. Let's that is great. This. Now, okay. Let's take this. <laughs> now we're going to try to cut and make sure the zigzag lines we get in between them. It's nice and good. Here, I'll give you a tray for that. And I'm going to check on the uh, ravioli. Okay. I'll Eight try. to ten minutes for the raviolis. Okay. So I think we've, we're close. I'll just let it go another few minutes. I'll help you with. Okay, got that right there. I'll just get these two raviolis. Mm hmm. Okay, about that. It's nice because it, uh, when you put a sharp edge in between, you still have the nice zigzag design. They're good. Got one. Okay. First one. Look at that. That is, that is terrific. Boy. And they, they feel, I, I noticed that when we make homemade raviolis, we don't eat as many. When you, when you do it and you buy them in the store. They're actually pretty big. Yeah, they, you can eat about think three or big. four of these where I used to have about eight from the packages. Yeah. I find these are much, much better, much heartier. And you like yours with sauce and cheese. Parmesan, yeah. yeah. So I have that got ready these for right you. Here. Mm -hmm. Put these. Okay, got it. We have lots of dough on the edges, right? Yeah, you notice that? We could always yeah. this save is it. How much dough we got so far. I know. It's a lot, right? Look. We can uh, save that for more raviolis. Yeah, next time we do this. Sure. Okay, All right, now see. I think uh -huh. it should be ready. That. There's ones. They look like they're cooked. See that? Oh yeah, nice. Nice. That. Oh, something that Ethan uh, wants to try sometime. It says on the recipe that you should cure it, like put it on a floured board for one hour on one side and then turn it over one hour on the other side. Yeah. But we didn't do that. And yet, they still stayed whole. They tasted really good. And they tasted good. So we can't figure out what the difference is. So someday we're going to do both, right? Yeah. We'll try both ways and see if there's a difference. 
Whoa. Okay. Okay. Finish the raviolis. And I'll just Here are the raviolis off. that we have cooked. Gee, that is fantastic. You did a wonderful job. You should be very proud of that. Now, oh, I will... I can move this to the side. Yep. Take this and we'll get a... Uh, <laughs> you like playing with dough. <laughs> and what we're going to do now is you get a stool, okay? You take that stool I'll put this right here. and stool. We will test this out. And if you would like any water, I'm not sure whether you would like to have some water with your meal, but I think I'll give you a big plate because I think that you're a big eater. <laughs> Two, nice. what, three? Oh, yes, I can have three. Oh. We both can have one. Okay, there you go. And here's your favorite sauce and sauce your Parmesan. And I'm not sure whether you use a fork and knife, okay. but there I'll it just is. Use a fork. Yeah. This is, this is quite an honor to um, be nice. able to eat a meal made by my grandson. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pins on. And that's all right. <laughs> it shows that you're a good worker. Okay. Enjoy. You too. <laughs> As they say in Italian, manja, manja. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means? Nope. Eat, eat. I love to eat. You ought to be very proud of yourself. Okay. And. I do believe that the viewing audience will see how very easy it is yeah. if a young man at the age of 10 who goes to the Galvin Middle School, is a fifth grader, does something as unique as this. And he really set it all up in the house and did it all himself. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you for being on the show. And this is the second grandchild I told you about, Miss Isabella. So happy to have you on the show, hon. And you have two things that you're going to show the people in our viewing audience how to do, and you're going to show me. And we can use these things for any holiday, right? Yeah. Anything. So now the first one you're going to do is called chicken legs. Okay, and how about turkey too? Yeah, because they're a little bit bigger than a chicken leg. So we'll do a turkey leg, okay? But all right, show us what the first thing is I have to do. So you need to break in the middle of the pretzel. Now I noticed that you did it almost perfectly. How did you figure out how to do that? That is great. You did almost a perfect break. Rather than cutting it with a knife or anything, show the people how you do it. You, you go, you put, put it in the middle, yeah. and then you snap it. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, I think we have enough to start the process. Show the people the next step. So you always start on the smooth parts. Okay, could you give me one? Thank you. And what do we do? Then we dip it in this frosting. Right, melted. Well, it's actually white chocolate. You know, like chocolate chips? Yeah. Or it can be like, you know, any white discs, candy discs. So now, I have a lot of white chocolate on the tip. Go ahead. Me too. <laughs> you do. And what do I do with it? Now we get these small marshmallows and okay. put them at the smooth part. Okay. So, how are they going to stay? What do we have to do? Once I get them there, I put them down here. Yeah. And, okay. Let's try another one. 
Okay, give me another stick. Thank you. On the smooth edge? Yep. Okay. Dip it down. Okay, good. I notice how you very nicely rounded it and got all the drip to go right on the stick. And then take two, these almost stuck together. So we take two mini marshmallows, okay. And that's the bottom bone of the turkey leg, right? Yep. Now, what do I do now? Take and... You think I should freeze them or chill them or something? Freeze them. Freeze them, okay. So I'm going to set those aside. But when we rehearsed this, we had made some already, huh? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to bring those out and you can do the next step. So you get these food paint brushes. Okay. And let... then you put them all over. Ah, see, this is better than dipping. We have the white chocolate and it's only about, what, half an inch? Yeah. There's not really that much. So we figured out it will be a lot better, and we have to paint the marshmallows too? Yes. Okay, so this is an easy way to do it, and Isabella knows what we did is we got these paint brushes, and I put it in my closet just for cooking, right? Yep. Just for cooking, okay. How's this, Isabella? Pretty good? Yep. All right, and we will take and do the very same thing with this. And what I'm going to do is have you put them on this plate. See, we put it on either wax paper or parchment paper so it doesn't stick. Oh, that's smart. You dipped it. Great. Great. Okay, layer down. And we'll just do one more. You found this to be a very easy treat to make, huh? Yeah. Really? So I didn't tell you that Isabella is a student at what school? Woodville. The Woodville. And she's enjoying it very much. Isabella has a lot of activities she enjoys. One is dance. Mm -hmm. But what else do you like? Art. Right? And gym. Gym. Music. <laughs> Technology. Wow. That's excellent. All right. I, is that okay? Yep. Okay. I'll put that down. And the same thing. We're going to chill it, right? And we just microwave these, ooh, it's hot, these marshmallows. Isn't it hot? Really? And marshmallows and butter. And what are you going to do when I do this? I mix it. Okay. So we take... Rice Krispies mixed with marshmallows and melted butter. And make a nice consistency. Good, good. And this is when we have to put our gloves on, right? Yep. Because it is a mess. <laughs> And those gloves fit you pretty well. They, they recommend that you can spray an oil spray on your hands. And we tried that, huh, Isabella? Yeah. But that was messy. Yep. You find this is better? Yep. All right, check it out. What do you think? Good. It's good? Yep. All right, now you came up with a very interesting method on how to do this. Go ahead. Explain. So we start with this and we put it on the bottom like this. And okay. we need to flat it out. Do you need to make a ball out of it? Mm. Or is no. it first make a ball? Yes, I know. Uh, see, what Isabella is doing is smart. She's doing half and half. And then you put it on top. Aha. Uh -huh. Might be a little bit too much. You might want to take a little bit off. Now, see, I'm making it into a ball, 
and I'm going to try to stick it in the middle and shape it sort of like into a pear shape. But the way you did it is, um, seems a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. And here we have it. We have to chill it, right? Yeah. But there it is. Wow, thank you so much. Put it right down here. Oh, that's great. And I know that Miss Isabella is looking forward to another treat that she's going to do in a few minutes. We're gonna make cupcakes that's gonna turn into reindeers. That's right. And show them all the things. So these are little cookies. Right. And big pretzels. And these are going to be the eyeballs, and these two are going to be the noses. And I think to start out with, I know that we used this the other day, yeah. but I think this is better for the little things, and this is better for the top. So let's start with the top. And there you are, and I'll do one too. I'll watch how you do it, okay? And. Just to let the viewing audience know, we have a lot of crew here, so even though we made two of those turkey legs, Isabella and I were very busy. <laughs> so I'm going to leave these right here so that the camera crew and your brother and grandpa can enjoy it too, okay? Go ahead, show me how to do it. So we got a lot of chocolate okay. and rub it all over the top. So now we use a big cookie for this one? Yep. Okay. Show me where to place it. You put it at the end of the cupcake. Right. And then you get two of these pretzels. I'll take two. Okay. And show me how to place it. Put it like a heart. Put it like a heart. Okay, like so, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. And now you're going to use a thin stick. We've used, I'll use this, you can use that. And where do I place the chocolate? Put it on the middle of the nose. Okay, the middle of the nose. Gotcha. And once when you're done with that, you can put it at the end of the heart. Pretzel. At the end of the heart, okay. So I do two. I do one on one end and one on the other side. Okay, fine. And then once when you're done, you can get these. There's all different colors. Okay, and you'll do green. And then? Then you get these eyes. Okay, so eyes are two, okay. And they should just be placed in the bottom of the, uh, the heart-shaped pretzels, right? Yep. And like so, there you got it. And it's just a regular chocolate mix uh, that you buy in the store, chocolate cake mix. And there you have, that is adorable. And you show them how you do this one. Go ahead. So you get a little bit of chocolate and rub it all over the cupcake. Okay, I'll follow you. Chocolate and rub it all over the mini cupcake. Go ahead. It's best to have cupcake holders too, like we have. It just makes it easier. And yep. then you can take it off later, right? Yep. Okay. Now, for the mini, you do what? You get these tiny ones. Tiny wafers, okay. And you said put it like on the bottom middle. Yep. Okay. And we want to show them that you're doing it. Okay. 
and we still use the same mini pretzels, right? Yep. Okay. And shaped like a hat. Yep. Connected to the wafer. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting the hang of it. Good. Okay. And now we do with the sticks. Yep. There's your stick. Good. In the middle of the cookie. Yep. Okay. Just a little dab. And then the last step. And of course, it's best to chill them in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. right? To yep. they, they harden up a little bit. Okay, so I need two eyes. Yep. Go ahead. It's best to apply the fudge onto the pretzel and the cookie first. It makes a cleaner, makes it cleaner, right? Yep. Oh, you did a great job. Look at this. That. There, you got it. Thank you. Which is your favorite? The turkey legs or the uh, reindeer? Reindeer. The reindeer, yeah. Well, maybe we can invite your brother back mm -hmm. on the set. Maybe he'd like to try something. And if you like reindeer, go right ahead. Have a reindeer. Show the folks how you take it apart to eat it easily. Come on over, Ethan. You, you take it apart, you eat the cookie first. And what would you like? Go right ahead. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll try a mini. If I were to have one of those, I would have one with the green nose. With the green nose? <laughs> Let me see what you think. Tastes pretty good. Pretty good? Now those were chilled in the freezer to get ready for the show. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty sturdy, right? Yeah. And Isabella. What do you think? Good. Stick it on. Mmm. Did it stay on? Mm hmm Now, I think what's important is for the viewing audience to see, Isabella is eight, and as I said before, Ethan is ten. They love to cook and bake. And they have prepared and rehearsed all of the items that you see on the show today, and I'm very proud of both of you. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're and uh, okay. if you want to be in touch, I know that you can get in touch with me at glowmez at verizon.net. And also, the recipes will be at the end of the show or on YouTube. And please, try these. They're very, very easy. And try them with children. Thank you. Mini. With the green nose. Reduce this. Sure. Okay, All right, now I think.